When Powerhot came out, I was surprised to see that the game will have different difficulties. In my mind, it was going to be one of those games with fixed difficulties which would be fairly balanced. And just like with other games, I chose hard mode for my first playthrough because I like that challenge. So let's talk about hard mode difficulty in power today. I assume most of you that are watching this video either are wondering if they want to try hard mode. So I hope this helps you understand what to expect because even though the game tells you what to expect, honestly, even I was not prepared for a lot of those things. To put it simply, playing on hard mode with default settings is similar to a Dark Souls level 1 challenge and while this might seem a bit over the top for some people, let's go to what exactly makes it so bad. The first major difference is the damage dealt. On hard mode the powers deal more damage to you which is obvious. The not so obvious thing is that the multiplier is not 2 times but 4 times the damage from normal mode. You can pretty much expect almost every type of power to one shot you even early game and if you are lucky they will at best two shot you. When it comes to damage you deal to pals, while early game is enough to be able to capture pals, later on your damage becomes quite irrelevant and the pals do all the work for you, which I don't mind unless you get in a situation where your entire party gets wiped. One thing I'd like to mention here is that the damage scaling is honestly non-existent on hard mode, Bosses that are like 10 to 15 levels under you will simply one shot you if they hit you, especially with some of their stronger spells. One example I will give is when I was fighting the penguin boss and I was around 14 levels above him and he simply one shot me when my shield went down. This brings us to the second point which is the crafting. As in most games you would expect crafting yourself a shiny armor to boost your defense so you can become the soldier you've dreamt of being. Well, not exactly the case here. After crafting my first armor, I discovered that in fact it was a waste of materials and time because spouse were very much still dealing more than half my health with one simple attack. And if you actually decide to fight stronger pals like Alpha ones, Shiny or Boss, well, expect to still get one shot even with armor on. The best use of armor is when you craft the cold heat resistant armors, besides that you don't even have to repair them, you still get the health boost but the defense itself is quite irrelevant. The thing you'd want to craft the most is a shield. I can't tell you how many times it has saved me from an attack which I was not able to dodge or it randomly hit me out of nowhere, so the shield is definitely the best. Thing. And speaking of getting one shot, let's talk about stats. By now you should know that putting any points into attack is useless and it is definitely the most irrelevant stat in the game. While you still want to get some points into weight, getting your stamina up will be the best as you are able to dodge and turn around more. My recommendation is to put your first around 5 levels into health, then get some weight and then start focusing on stamina as well. And your priority is definitely health and stamina. It definitely helps you later on so you can fight bosses which deal a lot of AOV spells or ones that chase you around and you can freely run. The next thing I want to talk about is experience. On hard mode the experience you gain is less than normal mode which in my opinion should be the opposite as it is in most games. But I must say experience was never a problem. I never felt under leveled or that leveling was too slow. In fact at some point I was feeling like I'm leveling too fast and if you are actually struggling with levels, the best thing to do is capture 10 of each power for the extra experience you get. Doing this early game with the easy powers will boost your levels and it will help you put some extra points into health and stamina to get you started out. Now let's talk about one of the most annoying things about hard mode which is the base rates and incubating eggs. On hard mode the amount of base rates is increased with cases of up to 3 base rates for a single day if you spend a bit more time in your camp. While early on it's relatively easy to deal with them and you can also capture some new pals from the raids, later on those raids become a pain in the ass and I would simply just hide all my pals and then hide myself somewhere in the base while waiting for the raid to be over because honestly it's pointless to even try to defend. Yes this way you get some of your base destroyed but as long as you make your base out of stone it should be mostly fine. One example I can give is trying to fight back when I got raided by several bird pals which absolutely destroyed me and it was more annoying waiting for my pals to get revived than actually repairing a base for example. One of the fun parts about power is incubating eggs and for some reason in hard mode the dev decided that incubating a single egg should take up to 72 in-game hours. 
In my opinion, it's even insane to think about it. I wouldn't mind that if the timer was going down while the game was closed, but it has to be 72 hours while you're playing. This is 3 days of you not being able to use that incubator for anything else. Yes, a lot of people make multiple incubators, but is it even worth it sometimes to wait that much? A lot of the times when you incubate an egg, you get something shit and imagine waiting 72 hours just to get something that you will never use. I would say the grinding is up to the player, but compared to normal mode, on hard mode you get twice as less materials out of everything. One example I can give you immediately is on normal mode out of an ore node you get 40 iron ore, while on hard mode you get only 20. You definitely have to start min maxing a bit more on hard mode and be smart how you spend that iron and eventually setting up multiple iron bases especially because some buildings require up to 100 iron and you also need iron to craft those fancy spheres so you can catch better poles. One thing I would recommend is getting your second base as early as possible and immediately making it an iron farm base and when you get your third base eventually you can set it up as an iron base as well for a little bit and then eventually switching to more important stuff that you need. The last thing I would like to talk about is fighting. I already mentioned how the damage is mostly dealt by your pals, but here you might encounter one issue which makes the game less fun and enjoyable in my eyes. A lot of people consider fighting while riding on your pal to be the best use of the power because you decide which abilities to use and when to use them. Well, doing that on hard mode is extra hard because dodging any attacks while you're on top of a power becomes extremely hard and as you might have guessed, in a lot of cases you might get hit by a spell and get one shot. In most cases, no matter what pals you have, you will just summon them and let them fight while it makes sure to dodge all the attacks and turn around, not getting aggro, which is very unfun because a lot of the later pals you get have amazing abilities and it's just not fun not being able to use those abilities yourself. One thing I would recommend if you commit to using the pals without riding them is switching them often so you can maximize their abilities and get the most damage out of them. Overall, I think that hard mode is more of like a very hard mode and a big hassle and a lot of annoying little things. And unless you have a lot of time to spend on the game, I just I just can't recommend it. What I did instead is make a custom game where I adjusted the settings to my liking, like pals do more damage to me again, but it's only double the damage. Incubating eggs takes up to 10 hours and I still get more ores so I don't have to farm my life away. And all of those things, it's definitely better, but if you want a real challenge, I can definitely recommend hard mode for that. But honestly, for your first playthrough, I definitely don't recommend it. I really hope that video can help somebody decide if they want to try hard mode and it gave you some insight about it. For me, it was not fun, even though I really like challenges, but I definitely can see myself doing one of those hard mode challenges later on. And attempting to beat the game while grinding my ass off but yeah that was that was the video thank you guys for watching and if you actually decide to play on hard mode good work